Um, and some things, so some things we may not be able to stop, some things that may be out of our control is at the trade deadline, Peach. And on the move here, we're, uh, you're on the move, you're moving around, and some players may also be on the move. Mm-hmm. And we, we may not want to see it. I, I know I've grown enamored with Gary Harris and Terrence Ross has just been, I love the torch, love seeing him on the squad, and when especially when he heats up. But the reality is those guys may not fit with the timeline of the team. And so what we're going to do right now is propose some trades that you think may or may not happen for these two players. Uh, I, Peace, you're going to take Gary Harris, and I'm going to take Terrence Ross, and then I think we have some bonus there at the end. What do you see in are some likely landing spots for Gary Harris potentially? Well, this is a very tough thing to predict, but I have three spots where I'd like to see Gary go. Um, and three that I think are not super unlikely, although maybe the first one goes against exactly what I'm saying. I just, I can see him in a Sixers uniform. There's mm-hmm. something about it. Maybe it's because Tobias Harris already has Harris on the back of a Sixers jersey, where <laughs> I just feel like I can feel it. But Philly's a team that needs a part like that if they're going to really get to, you know, beating the Bucks in the playoffs and, you know, get to that next level. And Gary is showing that, like, he can do more with more time. And I think yeah. if he went to Philly, he could, he could really be the, the P, little piece that could help get them over to the top. Now I'm not exactly exactly how he gets there because the, this, they want to move Ben Simmons and we're not getting Ben Simmons out of the deal Cause they're asking way too much for Ben Simmons, by the way. Right. Um, but if a third team got involved, I think it could work out where they end up with Harris and we end up with an expiring contract of somebody else or something like that. And I feel like there's not a lot of risk here for Philly because they either get the player that they've seen, from Harris so far this season, or that he just, his contract expires and they don't bring him back. I just feel like it'd be a good fit for him. And they've seen him enough times to know what he brings to the table. And and to, to your point piece about a three team trade, that $17 million player exception, which can help to match salary in a three team trade, that exactly. would be a great place for that. So I see, I see where you're going with that, sir. Uh, so then for my next two, I go out to the Western conference and they remember this guy from when he played with the nuggets, but these are a couple of teams who are toiling in the middle, but they're definitely going to be playoff teams, but they need that extra boost. They're the Sixers of the West. And first off, I've got Utah out here. I feel like they need another per- good perimeter defender to get over that hump, somebody to really shut down the other guys. And I know they've, I've heard rumor of them shopping Joe Ingles, who's getting older right. and might retire. He has a pretty high contract. This could be the good swap that you Utah needs for the same reason where like, if it works out with Harris, great, we'll resign him. And if it doesn't, we're out of it. And we move on with our day because Joe Ingles used to be a really important key factor for them. And I think he still kind of is, but I think Harris would be better for them on both ends of the floor. So it's something they should look into. Now, I don't know what Utah has that we need. Uh, nothing yeah. really, probably. Well, do we um, get Joe Ingles back in that? I think we would get Joe Ingles in that. And then yeah. we have to figure out whether he's going to, you know, retire or whether he's going to play another couple yeah. years. He's 34. So Joe Ingles is another guy that gets under people's skin. Notorious for getting under players skin. Imagine a bench unit with Moritz and Joe Ingles. People would be pissed at the magic. Even Imagine more than the, the Bulls practice fans are. Oh, oh yeah, there you go, man. <laughs> Joe and Morris just going at it. At, yeah. <laughs> at the practice facility. Um, the other team that I think is in the same kind of boat is probably Memphis. Uh, Memphis is, is the, obviously they've got John Morant. Everybody's heard of him and we're going to see the Grizzlies soon. Um, but Dylan Brooks just went down and he's a key player for them. He's going to be out for, I think three to five weeks and Gary Harris fills that void and then would be a solid veteran on a team. That's pretty young. I mean, they have Bain, they they have some players that you don't really know. I'm looking forward to actually seeing them when they play against the magic, but I feel like they're another piece away from being a legit contender in the West. And I think they could probably get Harris from us for not having to give up too much, but they may have something we'd be interesting because they got a lot of young players. I think they still have a lot of their draft picks. So I, I feel like they're a, another possibility that that may not be a sexy one that you'd hear on sports radio, you know, Utah, Memphis, uh, you know, but they're teams that are contending in the West and need a piece to get over the hump. But I think Harris could be that. I, Hey, all those make sense to me. And it, it is hypothetical. I don't want to see either of these guys go honestly, but I, I just think it's kind of inevitable, inevitable. I, I think if I would love to have Gary Harris back on 
even a reasonable contract. We've talked about this in previous episodes. If he'd come back with the salary cap going up in a couple of years, even for like something like 15 a year or like 12 to 15, like a, a, a Terrence Ross type contract, I would sign on the dotted line immediately because even if it doesn't work out, it's like, oh, you know, we want minutes for other guys. Gary can still go, you know, he can still go on that contract, easily tradable. But so I, I don't want to see either of these guys go. 